to my 20% by Carter. Intro. Hi, my name is Carter and I'll teach you about the sun. My question is how may the sun die? The sun is mostly made up of hydrogen and helium, but also in different metals. Hydrogen and helium are types of gases. How old is the sun? The sun is four and a half billion years old. It is almost halfway through its life cycle. How hot is the sun? The core of the sun is 27 million degrees Fahrenheit. How does the sun produce energy? The sun produces energy by a nuclear fusion two hydrogen atoms fused together into a helium atom. The energy that is formed pushed through the solar system. So, basically, I grab one of these, and there's one here, one here, and then they go together and they form helium atoms. Next slide. What is a supernova? A supernova is a giant explosion from a dying star. It, it is the largest explosion in space. A supernova can reach temperatures of 100 Kelvin. That is six thousand times the temperature of the sun. Our sun is not big enough to supernova. Next slide. How may the sun die? As the sun gets old and runs out of fuel, it will swell up and into a red giant, burning Mercury, Venus, and Earth. It will push out gas that will make a future star. After that, the core will contract and become a white dwarf. Then it'll cool down and leave only compressed carbon, which that's basically coal, carbon is coal. Maybe even diamonds will be left. Here's a quick video about how made the sun die. Wow. flying in toward the sun, passing the orbits of Neptune and the binary pair Pluto and Charon. We are seeing our home system as it may look about five billion years from now. Looking closely, we see that something's gone dramatically wrong with the sun. Its fuel supply running low, our star now swells in size, becoming a red giant, engulfing the orbits of Mercury, Venus, and our Earth. The sun now goes unstable, and puffs off shells of plasma and gas. Eventually, hurling outwards the components of what will become an immense fluorescent nebula for all the galaxy to see. What remains of the sun now shrinks down to become a dense, cold, white dwarf star, the lonely cinder of the former planet Mars as its closest companion. Supernova. Um, Grace. It's the biggest explosion in space. A giant explosion from a dying star. Um, Nathan. The sun is a star. What is that is a what is made the sun? Up that has two gases and some iron. Giant ball of gas, but yeah, that's correct. That's more, yeah. Um, what? How hot is a supernova? 
Uh, Jacob. Uh, six thousand times uh, the, the heat of the sun. Um, next one. Six thousand times the temperature of the sun, and it's one hundred Kelvin. Yeah. Here's here's uh, where I found information about a supernova. Um, yeah. A supernova explosion from a dying star is the largest explosion that takes place in space. Supernovas are often seen in other galaxies, but supernovas are difficult to see in our in our own Milky Way galaxy because dust blocks out our view and yeah, yeah. Okay, so go back to. Thanks for watching.